Let's take a very fast look at the latest version of Windows, Windows 10, not 9 because that would have caused all kinds of issues thanks to legacy code that cannot be done away with, so. Here we are, I've just got a bunch of stuff slapped around on the desktop. The first thing I wanna show you guys is the snapping. Snap it over there, snap it to the bottom. And did you see what I just did? It actually snapped to the bottom and now it's like taking up a quarter of the screen. Grab this one, throw it up here, let's snap it uh, up there in the corner. And then snap this one over here. How neat is that? Oh, let's open up the live tile thing here from the Steam tile thing. So it opens up full screen as you can see. And it, you know, one thing that's nice about the modern apps now is look, they have a bar. There's even a close and a minimize and maxim maximize and all that fun stuff. And over here you have uh, you know different options that you can you can uh, you can use. So kind of snazzy. But if you snap that over there, it's like, hey, all these other things are open, and you just snap something to the right side. So it gives you some suggestions of things to, that you can open on the other side over here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, that one. How's that? Um, it's a good way to improve the functionality. Another thing that they've done to really improve the functionality is they've improved the, um, the start the start screen. You guys can still use the start screen if you want to, but no one's going to. Everyone's going to use this on the desktop. I guarantee it. This is now your new um, you know, start bar I guess or start uh, whatever and uh, search integrates with the web so if you wanted to do a full search on the web you can enable that I have it disabled right now uh, so there's search here there's also a search button here which is kind of strange but this one seems to always work with the web like then we've got all our Deus Ex stuff here you know uh, there we go I kind of like having the search here and then if I wanted to do the web search I'll do it myself but whatever another really big addition um, and these are all live tiles. These are cool. I've just put, I've just thrown all these here. These don't these don't come in pre-installed. I also love the fact that these stupid programs like this video program and the music program are so easy to uninstall. Just get out of my life. I don't want you in my life. Get away from me. You're very bad. Go here. Yes. Move things around and resize things. You know. Of course, we could do this before. Do not care about the people. I put you there just for the aesthetic cleanliness. Yes. Very good. Okay, here's something that I love. We now can add a desktop. So you've got your standard desktop here, and now we have another desktop. And uh, just go ahead and open up. Got our uh, new window open up right here. Yes, very nice. Light theme, dark theme. So that's over here going on. And then we can just go back to our other desktop. And um, this is also the, the new task switcher as well, but go back to our other desktop. Get out of there, I did that search, and there it all is. Don't care about you either. But yeah, there's our other desktop. It's pretty handy. That can be really nice for separating uh, work and pleasure. It needs to be, uh, I think a few things need to be ironed out. It kind of weirds me out that, you know, when you're on your other desktop, you can still click on these windows and it'll take you back to the other desktop. Um, I've got to find a setting somewhere. Maybe there's one that I don't know about yet that allows me to only show the taskbar for the desktop that I'm that's active with those active icons and that sort of thing. That would be nice. Speaking of properties, we can go in here and take a look at this. All right, now let's show you some of the, the way that they handle files and that sort of thing. So when you do Windows key E, which brings up your Explorer, the first thing that's gonna bring you to here is your home screen. Now, normally it would take you to this PC or my PC or whatever, and you get your OneDrive, which, which hooks up to Microsoft's cloud you know, service or whatever. I don't really use it, but um, you know, normally I'm used to coming here and seeing all my hard drives and then your standard folders, but I've actually found this to be extraordinarily handy because there's a lot of folders that I use all the time. Uh, and there's a lot of folders that I, you know, or files that I, I just need to get again. I just use this file and I, I want to get that file again. So they're all going to be right here under your home. And then you can set up some favorites as well. You know, just, it's very, very, very easy to deal with. Um, but I, I like this because certain folders, I like the, the video folder for Tech Syndicate for editing and that sort of thing, I use it all the time. It's gonna be so convenient because it's going to automatically appear here on the list. And uh, there are some options to customize this as well. Up here is our, you know, more control, just lots and lots of control. So far, I haven't had, haven't had much to complain about. Let's show you guys what the task manager looks like. More details there. It's pretty, of course it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty much a lot of this stuff is just coming straight over from Windows 8. I'm having quite a bit of fun with this, and uh, oh, you've got, wait, wait, one more thing. You've got to see this. I don't know if it's back or not, but let's just uh, oh, let's just go here and uh, look at this. Or if I right click and hit properties, check this action out. Previous versions. It looks like Shadow Copy is going to be coming back. Microsoft, you beautiful people. I haven't seen that it's working yet. Maybe I have to enable it or whatever. Because uh, I installed this at like 3 this afternoon and it's now 11 o'clock at night. I, I may have to go and configure what folders and when the backups occur. 
but the previous versions tab is back. I think they watched our video that we complained a lot. And if you guys did, you guys are doing a much better job now with this operating system. So I'm I'm actually really looking forward to this. There we go. Start is looking pretty good. Multiple desktops looking pretty good. Seems to have better support all around for all the desktop centric stuff that I need in my life. So Microsoft, thank you guys very much for doing that. It's just it's just a much better experience overall. Stay tuned for more coverage on this. This was just my very basic, uh, you know, quick, unprepared, just, hey, let's go run around this OS and let's do it together. You know, it's fun. Let's all go and do it together. And I think it's kind of cool that the live tiles can be just integrated here. You can have your Twitter feed or just your weather, your local weather right here. You can make this a little bigger, uh, you know, medium so that it can actually give you some live information about your current weather. I haven't gone in and, and configured this, um, but, you know, it may be kind of cool to have some of this stuff here um, at your fingertips. And you can keep extending this thing, guys. I mean, you can just keep adding more and more apps to this. And uh, right here you have all the apps. Uh, you know, camera, I don't really care about camera, but there it is. And then, you know, we open that up and, hey, it's me, guys. What's up, everybody? Snap that over there. Grab this again. It's just a very usable operating system. So Microsoft, good job. Keep it up. Don't screw things up. Give us more of the uber professional. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Give us more of the nerdy features. That's what we want as desktop users. We want you know the uber nerdy stuff. So see you guys next time.